I'm gonna show you how to paint this running bird, Cameron. Let's first do a drawing. I'm gonna have the bird running from this direction all the way coming over here, like that. And the bird would be here in this location. And this is what be the water surface. The splash closest to him is right over here. And and then, and this is would be a little bit distance from here. And this one, and then something over here. I'm going to prepare my water brush. Make it a little bit sharper like this. Mask all the water splashes. Okay, right here. If we can do a good masking, uh, the result as the painting would look much better. So be a little patient at this step. Just put the dot like that coming over here and like right here. We don't have to mask the bird. The bird is actually darker. So now I'm going to clean my brush. Now I'm going to use the two brush to apply some of the dust. Now we're going to wait until it totally dries, and we can come back to remove some of the masking food. We don't need it. And then we're going to start a painting. Now take a look on over here. That's a little bit too much. So we're going to remove those. And in the water over here, maybe have a little bit less. Let's remove that. That's good. Uh, in the front over here, there should not be any dust. This one I remove. And you can see those dots are very easy to be removed. So when you're doing a painting, making sure a brush is soft enough. It's just too hard to brush. You cannot use this technique effectively. Okay, like this. Now we are going to start the painting. We're gonna painting from the background. Now I'm using this one inch flat brush. We're going to start from the top. So take the yellow color and have some red color. Okay, what color is supposed to be? And you can change the color if you want. Okay, I'm going to have a little bit more red. Maybe have a little bit blue. And that's probably good. Okay, something like this. Okay, let's start from the top over here. We can change color as we're coming down and as we're painting through. A little bit more blue. Okay, here you go. All right, I'm gonna, this brush is very soft and lots of hair. As it's very soft gold here. So I'm going to continue with this color. Keep coming down like this. Please see the, please see my materials from the links uh, in the video descriptions. You can get all your answers. Okay, now be a little careful. You don't want to scratch the paper too much. Oh, you're gonna scratch off, scratch off all the masking fluid. it. 
a little bit blue at the front over here. Like that. That looks pretty good. Now I'm going to make this a little bit softer. I'm going to put my hands in the water like this. And here you go. Now I'm going to have it right on top of here like that. Now we're going to wait until it dry. Now I'm using my calligraphy brush and start adding some lines showing the movement of the water. Now I'm going to mix a little blue color, a little red, and of course a little yellow color. Okay, this is good. This brush is pretty sharp. Let's take a look. I want to come in from here, like that. This is still very wet, so it's okay. Just put a little line over here, like that. And keep coming down over here. Have your arm off the table, so it's easier to move, okay, like this. They're all horizontal. Now the paper already dry, so now I'm going to start giving a little color over here uh, on the on the water surface. Now I'm going to take a look at the color looks like a little bit blue, so I'm going to take a little blue color. Start over here. Here you go, right here. Add up the water, make it a little easier to move. Like that, that's good. Now over here, like this. Here you go. Come all the way over here. Now that's good. And now we're gonna add uh, a little bit softer color, so add a little bit water to it. Alright, now I'm going to remove the masking fluid. Now, lots of those small dots now you're showing. Now you can see all those small white dots. It looks very interesting, suggesting like the water splashes. So we're going to plan the boat will be here. Okay, uh, the legs would be over here. So let's put a little, a little mark over here first, like that, and take a look at the, the back, the tail over here, and then the head would be over here. 
Okay, here. There you go. Like that. And then take a look at the wings. The wings will be up here. That's just the tip of the brush, so just the feather. Like this. And then we're going to separate these two wings a little bit later. Now I come back to, uh, we work on the water. Okay, take a look at that. This good. Right here, like that. The masking for all the offs so we can paint into the space easier, like this. If you want to get more of this calligraphy brush along uh, with the fra brush, it's on sales. Just go to enjoyingart.com, brushes, and all, or, or you can look into the video descriptions. There's a link over there for you to click on. It's very easy. This brush shipped to international. Okay, coming here, like that, that's good. And I'm going to take a look at, and the inside over there, I'm going to have a little bit red, and make it a little bit darker. There's the red and the blue color. There's three colors, they are Windsor yellow, Windsor red, and a Windsor blue green shade. And I'm gonna add a little bit warmer color in the middle over here, also make it look darker. Take a look here. The paper I'm using for this painting is Arches Cold Press Watercolor Paper. I cut from the large sheet. So if you want to see the full list of materials that I use, the link for the paints and so on, just look at the video description. I have the links for you. Okay, now I'm going to Add some of the shape. And I'm also going to add a little lighter uh, blue gray color into the water over here. Like in here, I can see that a little bit. There's a little bit in the top over here. Like that. That's good. Seeing like a a little uh, form, shadow, up there. Ok, 
Okay, that's good. And I'm gonna come also add a little bit uh, blue-gray colors over here too. All right, and the head, it has a little red orange color. So I'm gonna take the red. I'm gonna have a little bit orange, put in the red color here. So that's good. Now, it has some red color here. Like this. That's good. Uh, come back to do that a little bit more. And let's take a look at, I'm going to add a little details to the wings. Like this. Here you go. Yeah, a little toning. So, so this is good. And actually there is the two wings overlap. So the wing at the front at the front it actually should be here. I'm gonna mix this color a little bit big darker. And this wing and the front will be look like this. And connect to here. So with that, I'm gonna add a little bit darker at the front over here. I'm gonna make it a little bit darker. Here you go. Now. I'm back here. Okay. That's good. Right, now I'm going to use just the water to extend this color, continue coming down as the lower body of the boat. Okay. Okay, now coming toward the neck and finish the bird. Oh, 
I'm gonna make this side a little bit closer in a closer value. I think it's a little bit too much because it looks like the bad light. Now I'm gonna work into the reflection. Okay, I'm gonna take this color. Over here, a little bit thicker, overlapping, and the head over here have a few lines that are horizontal. That is how the water moving. Okay, now I'm going to add some thinner line, a little clear. So make it feel like it's cohesive and together with this reflected. And now this painting is finished.